If you're looking for a way to take your streaming and video conference game to the next level, then the NVIDIA Broadcast 1.4 is the perfect choice for you. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing for more videos like this in the future. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. NVIDIA Broadcast was released in late 2019. And the reasons why they created these AI tools is to provide users with capability to easily enhance their streaming broadcasts and meetings. The users allows to look directly into the camera even when they're not looking and provides noise cancellation capabilities to reduce background noise. Of course, you can still get rid of annoying sounds like AC or keystrokes, like this. But there's also a new upgrade to the AI noise removal effect, which supports you even if you're speaking loudly or excitedly. This makes it easier for users to communicate without worrying about distraction. Now, the NVIDIA recently dropped the latest version of the software, the 1.4.0 versions, which you can download now on their website. They added some features like the eye contact features, which will replace your eyes with simulated ones that are aligned with your camera. It is a nice tool to use for some content creators who are struggling to record themselves while reading a script without having to look directly at the camera. The eye contact features will try to make your simulated eyes match the color of the real ones. And there's even a disconnect features in case you look too far away. Here's a sample video side by side with a non-edited video so you can compare how his two eyes are moving to how NVIDIA software renders them. As you can see, I think it makes things just a little off. Part of that is the animated eye movement. While it's very cool that it's even possible, it sometimes end up making it look like his eyes are dashing around as fast as they can. There were a few times when the software got it right and when it did, it was very impressive. Still, the misses were too frequent and noticeable for me if you want to use this in your video or meeting. But still, not yet perfect, NVIDIA is trying to make this possible for all people with the help of their community. Maybe soon it will step up to the next level. Aside from that, the broadcast added some other features in the software such as background replacements which works as a virtual green screen and also a background noise that cleans up some noises that your microphone picks up. But the downside of this AI software is you have to meet the system requirement because not all people have this higher graphics card. NVIDIA suggested on their website what GPU, CPU, and driver should you install to be able to use the software. So you better buy some higher specs to get one of these AI tools. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. If you like to see more from me, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified when I post a new video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time. Peace out.